in my last video I described a little bit about my reasons for leaving Watchtower, what my motivations are. I'm not trying to mislead anyone, I'm not trying to mislead myself, I'm being honest with myself and honest with my uh, future children. Uh, in this video I wanted to talk a little bit more about what triggered my decision to or what triggered my awakening from uh, what I see now as my indoctrination uh, as a Jehovah's Witness. And the real eureka moment for me uh, involved increasing light or new light as it's often referred to. I realised that it cannot be supported by scripture. And the way I explain this is by what I call the make-weight scenario. Okay? So the make-weight scenario goes something like this. To support the increasing light doctrine you need to if you're a Jehovah's Witness find me a single scripture in the Bible that gives the impression that a God who cannot lie a God of truth would knowingly and deliberately give false information to his servants as a make weight until true knowledge is revealed at a later stage that is essentially what the increasing light doctrine is and for every person I've given this challenge to and I give it to anyone who's watching this video to find a scripture where it says that God who cannot lie would do this I haven't had a single person uh, including my family members um, numerous elders who I've given this challenge to not a single one has come back with a scripture where there is the remotest precedent or idea of God knowingly and deliberately giving false information just to get people by until truth is revealed at a later stage. Um, and there are obviously scriptures that the Watchtower tries to use to prop up its teaching, but it, in each and every case it does so in the hope that no one will read the context and the most obvious example of this is Proverbs 4 which is the most quoted scripture whenever you see the idea of increasing light in your paragraph in your watchtower study the scripture you're almost guaranteed to see is Proverbs 4.18 now if you read the context of that scripture which I'm not even going to waste my time doing you will see that it has nothing to do with progressive understanding of scripture. If you read the verse from verses 14 to 18, you'll see that it's describing the path or the life course of a wicked person and comparing it to the path of a righteous person. And it's saying that the righteous person uh, will always be favored, will always prosper in relation to the wicked person. And it concludes by saying, but the path of the righteous is like the bright morning light, poetic, that grows brighter and brighter until full daylight. There is nothing at all in that that remotely connects with scriptural understanding, so it's hardly even worth talking about, but that is the scripture that's most often used by Watchtower. There are two other scriptures which they could try and use more because they are a little bit more to do with um, prophecy and understanding the Bible. Um, I'm not going to go into full explanations of them now, but those are in uh, Daniel 12, verses 4 and verses 8 to 10, and 2 Peter uh, 1, verses 16 to 21. Now, neither of these scriptures give the idea of um, understanding being twisted or, or false uh, ideas being given. As, as I said, a make weight until truth is later revealed. Daniel 12 talks about people roving about for true knowledge and then the true knowledge becoming abundant. There's nothing ambiguous in that. And it later says that um, people will cleanse themselves and whiten themselves and will be refined. Again, we're not talking about truth being refined. Truth is absolute. It's unalterable. Uh, but what people can do is they can refine themselves and that has nothing to do with uh, increasing light. And Second Peter 1, it, it's, um, I'd encourage you to read from verse 16 where 
Peter is talking about the transfiguration and he's talking about God saying, this is my son, the beloved, who I have approved. And then he says, so we have the prophetic word made more sure and you are doing well in paying attention to it as to a lamp shining in a dark place until day dawns and a day star rises in your hearts. And what I, the way I reason with that is to say, the lamp has no dimmer switch. Again, I'm sorry if there's noises in the background. Uh, the lamp has no dimmer switch. It's either true or it isn't. Um, Peter is saying that the prophetic word, the Bible, is like an unalterable lamp that brightens your path until the day comes and the reality of the prophecy manifests itself. There is nothing there about progressive understanding or one understanding being given that turns out to be flawed and being replaced by a true understanding. There is nothing in the Bible, and believe me, I've looked, that supports that idea. And Watchtower knows it, which is why they choose the least um, helpful scripture of those three to prop up the teaching, because all it does is, giving, is give the idea of um, a light getting brighter and brighter when it has absolutely nothing to do whatsoever with scriptural understanding. So I wanted to share those with you. It's a challenge I give to anybody watching this video. If you can find a single scripture that makes it okay for a God of truth, a God who cannot lie, to give wrong information through his Holy Spirit to his servants so that they can um, have something to believe only for this to be later replaced. Um, by all means, send it to me. I'm anxious to hear it, um, but I haven't found it. My relatives haven't found it. None of the elders I've spoken to have found it because it's not there to be found. Increasing light, new light, is a total sham and a hoax. And I'm proud that I no longer believe in it. Okay, thank you for listening.